Welcome back to Amateur Money, where we dive into the world of finance, making it simple and accessible for everyone. Today's episode is a special one, Economic Ripple Election Edition. Ever wondered how the political season can shake the very ground of our personal finance landscape? Have you noticed changes in your investment portfolio around election times? Let's explore how presidential campaigns and their promises can ripple through our wallets. If you're curious about more finance insights, don't forget to browse our channel after this video. But first, have you ever felt the impact of an election on your finances? Share your experiences in the comments below to kickstart our conversation. Market Movements Have you ever observed how the stock market seems to hold its breath as elections draw near? This isn't mere coincidence. It's the visible effect of anticipation and uncertainty weaving through the financial landscape in the lead-up to an election. Every campaign promise, every potential policy change, becomes a signal to investors worldwide. They're trying to predict how these changes could reshape the business environment, influence tax structures, and alter trade relations. Such forecasts are crucial as they guide investment decisions, often resulting in notable fluctuations in the market. Think about it. How does the anticipation of political change impact your investment strategy? Do you find yourself acting more cautiously, or perhaps you see it as a window of opportunity? Understanding these market movements helps us see the broader picture of how elections impact not just the economy at large, but our personal finances as well. So, how do specific policy proposals play into this dynamic? Policy Proposals and Personal Finance Ever pondered how a sentence from a campaign speech can ripple through your financial pond? Let's decode this mystery. When candidates start tax reforms, government spending adjustments, or regulatory changes, they're not just sharing a vision. They're sketching the blueprint of future financial landscapes. But the journey from promise to personal finance impact is intricate. Here's how it unfolds. Initially, these proposals influence public and investor sentiment, potentially shifting market dynamics. Then, as elected officials begin to implement these policies, we see direct effects. Tax adjustments could alter your take-home pay. Changes in government spending might boost certain job sectors or affect public services you rely on. So, when a politician vows to change fiscal policy, it's akin to throwing a stone into the economic pond. The ripples reach far and wide, eventually washing up on the shores of your personal finances. Now, how does this intertwining of policy and personal finance play into the bigger picture of interest rates and inflation? Let's dive into that nexus and uncover how your financial planning stands to gain or brace for impact. Interest Rates and Inflation Consider interest rates and inflation the economic barometer, signaling the financial climate's warm or chill. But when election seasons roll in, with their troves of promises and policy proposals, this barometer can swing unpredictably. How so? Political pledges to overhaul fiscal policy or inject vast sums into the economy can excite or alarm investors and consumers alike, influencing spending and saving behaviors. This reaction, in turn, nudges the central bank to adjust interest rates, aiming to keep inflation in check or stimulate economic growth. The outcome? A direct impact on your loans, savings, and overall purchasing power. For instance, a drop in interest rates might make borrowing cheaper but also reduce the yields on your savings. Conversely, efforts to curb inflation could increase your loan costs. As we dissect how these economic indicators can shift post-election, it's crucial to understand their dance, a dance choreographed by policy changes. Now, how do these macroeconomic shifts translate to the job market and, more personally, to your wages? Let's delve into the employment and wage landscape to connect the dots. Employment and wages In the theater of political campaigns, jobs and salaries frequently take center stage. Candidates promise economic revitalization, more jobs, higher wages. But after the final ballot is cast, reality unfolds. How? Policies enacted by new leadership can either fortalize or wither the job landscape. For instance, investment in infrastructure or technology may create new opportunities, boosting employment and possibly wages in certain sectors. Conversely, stringent regulations or higher corporate taxes could detour business growth, affecting job creation negatively for you. This means the state of employment post-election could directly influence your earning potential, 
job security, and thus, your ability to manage and plan your personal finances. Navigating this changing terrain requires an understanding of policy impact on the job market, but there's another layer to consider. How does the resulting employment scenario feed into the broader economic sentiment? Next, we'll explore how shifts in employment and wages influence investor and consumer confidence, and what that means for the economy at large and your pocketbook specifically. Investor and Consumer Confidence The political climate can be a barometer for the mood of markets and the pulse of consumer confidence. Why is this sentiment so crucial? Confidence is the engine driving economic activity. When investors feel optimistic, they are more likely to pour money into stocks, bonds, and new ventures, fueling growth. Similarly, when consumers are confident, they spend more, boosting demand for goods and services. But elections can send waves of uncertainty through these waters. The promise of change, for better or worse, affects perceptions of economic stability and growth prospects. How does this translate to your financial reality? A confident economic environment can enhance job security, increase investment returns, and make it easier to plan for the future. Conversely, a drop in confidence can tighten job markets, erode investment values, and prompt a more cautious approach to spending and saving. Understanding the intricate dance between politics, investor sentiment, and consumer confidence can empower you to make more informed financial decisions in a politically charged world. Thank you for joining us for Economic Ripple Election Edition. We've seen how elections can stir the waters of our financial lives, from market fluctuations to shifts in policy that affect our daily budgets. It's clear that politics and personal finance are more intertwined than we might think. If you found this exploration insightful, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to Amateur Money for more financial wisdom, and leave your thoughts and questions in the comments. What part of today's discussion stood out to you the most? Your engagement helps us create content that resonates with you. Until next time, keep your finances smart and your investments smarter.